Thank you for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to continue reviewing the synthesizers that I have in my studio. But before that, please remember to subscribe, like the videos, and leave your comments. Today is the turn to review the Nord Electro 6D. So we're going to look through the sections. So there is an organ section, piano section, the middle uh, center program section, uh, sample synth, and the effect section. That also is very great as the Nord Lead A1 that I was showing you last week. So let's turn on the, um, the organ section over here. So it's a V3 organ. Box. For, for visa it's great this pipe pipe two and there is also this rotary mode here if we turn it on sounds great So that's the organ section. Of course, there is the draw bars. So, so you have the full bars, right? Um, there is the vibrato chorus effects on this one for each of the model organs. I think it doesn't work for all of them, but for most of them. Uh, the percussion too, right? You can make it so fast. Um, and there is all the control in, this, uh, in the organ section, octave up and down, right? So let's move on now to the piano section. So as I was showing you in the first video, so this is a Royal Grand uh, piano. It's, it's a great piano sound. And also, I like this feature here that is the, e the equalizer. So you can make it soft, mid, or bright. This is just to make it fit into the mix uh, when you're playing live. You can pick one of those and it fits right in. Um, the key bit touch too, so you can make it softer or strong, right? Octaves up and down, um, and you can select your your bank sounds here. So there is uh, electric pianos, of course. a bunch of other type of pianos um, and also you can mix them up you can blend them in you can split in different sections so these three sections you can split them into these uh, synthesizer keyboard you can also have them all of them stacked together the other good feature about this is that you can switch sounds and you won't notice a difference in any other like synthesizer you have a, cro a chord triton and I hate that that you have a good sound going on and then you have to switch sounds and it will pop it will stop and then the other one will come in. In this one you don't notice. You can switch sound one to another and it's a smooth transition. Um, so that's the piano section. This is the program section. This is where you can uh, store your sounds, you can split, you can also send via MIDI part the one of these three parts to an external MIDI. So for example, if you play in reggae, you can have your organ going on here and your piano over here in a separate, in a separate uh, unit, right? Um, you can uh, storage them in different programs. You can have a live mode, so you can switch sounds while you're playing from one to four and vice versa. They have different pages. You can organize your sounds also. There is a software that you can connect to it via MIDI, so it sounds great. And um, the sample synth section. So there's some strings here. Okay, so I have this sound over here. Um, basically, it's for playing reggae. So I have uh, organ over here, and I have piano over here. 
So I have the organ section split on the lower part of the keyboard, and then uh, two pianos, the Royal Grand 3D and the Core Piano uh, M1 over here together. So we'll play something for you. I am waiting for you, love. So we're going to stay on the sample section here, but I'm going to show you a little bit of the effects. So right now we have, uh, it's called two-step bass. So it sounds like this. Right, so we're going to add some effect to it. So how do we um, do this? So on here, you, sa you have the source. So basically you need to tell the effect section what part of your synthesizer you want it to go here, your organ, piano, or sample synth. So in this case, we're going to use a sample synth. So you just need to select the S. How do you do that? pressing shift and make sure that it's on the S section there, right? So, and then you turn it on and then you have six different effects on these effects number one. So we have the wah, we have pan one, pan two, tr tremolo one, two, and then uh, the ring modulator. So let's see what we can see over here. With no effects, with effects. That's the wah. So we're gonna leave it there for these uh, effects. Um, on here, we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna add some chorus. Sounds pretty good already. On here too, so you can add some drive. <laughs> This section would have been great if you got more controls over the oscillators and 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 filters and all of that that's lacking in that section over here. But it has pretty good samples uh, with the effects. You can do a pretty good job uh, trying to find the right sounds for it. The only thing that we'll find here is a little bit of um, decay and release for some of the sounds for this sound. So zero decay. And now we go to the release section. So it's like one knob. And the attack, of course. This button here called filter, but really it's not a filter. So yeah, I won't even mention it. it uh, for me, it just doesn't make any sense, but it's there. Um, we can add some delay too. So we have to select the uh, sample section. Tap tempo. And of course, a river. You have three different types. You have hall, stage, and room. And also you have that bright section over here. So yeah, so that's the sample synth section on the Nord Electro 60. To be completely honest, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very good fan of uh, synthesizers. That's what I love. That's what I'm passionate about. That's what I've been learning over the years. But uh, to play gigs, right? Like you, all of, all of us play gigs and play covers. And for all of that, you need very good usable sounds. So you always are going to need your organs, pianos, and a bunch of sample scenes, like from saxophone to strings, some good bread and butter sounds. And this is it, man. If you want to go play somewhere, if you want to... Uh, do your gigs, this is all you need, really, right? Like the Nord Electro 60 is a great, great synthesizer keeper. The only thing that is missing is the pitch pen and the modulation wheel. That's a very, very, um, I don't know, it's missing. You, you, you learn to live without it, um, but I don't know why they didn't put one in there. But 
it is what it is. Uh, for the happy people song that we play with our band over here, I have three sounds mixed together. So I have the organ section, the piano, and sample scene. So I have the, the box organ. I have a, like an electric piano on the background and some strings and it sounds like this. <laughs> for today i will be posting another video next week so stay tuned please remember to subscribe yeah i always say that please remember to subscribe but there is 20 people that subscribe on the past month so thank you very much the goal is to reach the a thousand subscribers uh so subscribe like the videos leave your comments we'll see you next time